Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. So Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Plus has got one UI 6 update and in this video I am going to talk about top 16 features for this update. So let's start. The first feature is about new Samsung DeX. So if I turn on the Samsung DeX, so here you can see now you have these widgets also available in Samsung DeX. The next thing is now you can use the Samsung DeX in portrait mode as well. So here you have your widgets and here you have your taskbar. The other thing is you can also control your widgets directly from home screen. For example, if I want to play an audiobook, I can directly play it from here. The next thing is you can open multiple apps and then you can resize them as well and you can change their position as well. The other thing is you can easily switch to the tablet mode. So I bring down this quick panel and then I will select this DeX icon. So here you can see switching is very fast. The next thing is you can also go for the classic DeX mode as well. So bring down this quick panel and then press and hold this DeX icon and then it will open the Samsung DeX and here you can see it is also giving you the option of classic DeX. So I will select it and then from here I will select this start DeX option. So here it will open the classic Samsung DeX. So here we have our apps and here we have the taskbar. The next feature is about new quick panel. So if I bring down this quick panel here you can see everything is organized in blocks. So here on top we have this connection setting toggles and here we have the main block with all quick setting toggles and then here we have this brightness slider with eye comfort shield and dark mode option and here at the bottom we have smart view and device control. You can customize this quick panel as well. So here is the customization icon and then from here you can edit your main block for example if you want to add more buttons you can directly add from here and then you can press done and then if you want to edit the top part of your quick panel you can select this edit option from here and then you can edit these seven buttons on top the next feature is about new camera widget so if I press and hold the home screen and then from here I select widgets and then here you can see we have this new camera widget you can just select it and then from here you can add it so once you select this add option it will take you to the camera settings so for example I select this starting mode and from here I will select the front camera and then I will go back and then I will save it. So here you can see a new camera widget added to my screen. Now if I just double tap it like this, it will open the camera with the same settings that I save. So you can add a dedicated screen for this camera widget with your preferred settings. So here you can see I add different camera widgets with different settings so I can easily access them. The next feature is about auto capture and auto scanning. For example, I want to scan this document. I will turn on the camera and now it will automatically scan this document and it will also take the picture automatically. I don't have to press any button. So here you can see it will start scanning and then it will capture the document as well. So here is the final result. And then once you save it, it will remove any unwanted object. So here is the final picture. So to enable this new option, just turn on the camera, then select the settings icon. And then here you see the second option is about scan documents and text. So you can select this option and you can turn it on from here. The next feature is about background play. For example, I open the internet browser and here I open YouTube and I play some video. Now if I open another tab, my video will still play at the background and I can listen the sound of that video. Even if you leave the internet browser, your video will still play and you can listen to the sound of that video. How to enable this setting? Just select these three lines, then select this settings icon and then scroll down and here you see this option of useful features. So you can select this option and here you can see this option of background play. So you can select it and if it is turned off, you can turn it on from here. 
The next feature is about new weather widget. So if I press and hold the home screen, then I select the widgets and then I will scroll down from here and then I select weather. And then from here, if you scroll down, you see this new weather insights widget. So I will select it and then I will add it to my screen. So here you can see new weather insights widget. If you open it here, you will get more information. So if you scroll down here, you can see you have this new sunrise and sunset set information and here you also have this moon phases information available in this widget. The next feature is about smart select tool. For example, I open this website and from here I want to capture some important information. So I will open the air command, then I will open the smart select tool and now I will use my S Pen to start selecting this part. So here you can see a new magnifier is now available. So this will be helpful to start and end your selection at perfect spot. So for example, I will select it till here. The next thing is now you can also resize your pin. So for example, I will pin uh, this part and here you can see it will be pinned to my screen and then you can also resize it. So you can resize it from any point. So for example, I want to resize it from here. I can do it. If I want to resize from here, I can also do it. The next thing is you can also extract the text from your pin as well. So you just select your pin and then here you see this new T icon is now available. So you can select it and then it will highlight all the text in your pin and then you can edit it, you can share it and you can also copy it. The next feature is about multitasking. For example, you open one app in pop up view and here you are doing your work and then you open this recent tab and then from here you can open another app. For example, I open this app. So here you can see now you have your pop up still available here and then you can continue your work. The next feature is about copy edits. So I turn on the camera and then from here I will select this image and then I will start editing this image. For example, I will change the filter of this image to grayscale and then I will save it. And then from here I will select these three dots and here you can see a new option of copy edits. So I will select it and then I will open the gallery. And then from here I will select these images. So I will select them. Okay, so I will select them till here. Now select this more option and here you can see another new option of paste edits. So I will just select it and now you can see all of these images will be turned grayscale. So here you can see now all of these images are turned into grayscale. So this is how you can copy and paste the edits. The next thing is you can also go for revert to original option. For example, I open this image and then I select these three dots. So here you can see you have this new option of revert to original. So if I select it, it will go back to the original mode. The next feature is about new lock screen. So if I lock my tablet and then I will press and hold on this lock screen and then I will select this clock. So now you can move this clock inside the lock screen. So here you can see you can move this clock and the notification icons will also move according to it. So for example, if I move it to the left, so you can see the notification icon will also move. So once you finish with this, you can select this done option. So here is your new lock screen with the new clock position. The next feature is about saving an object as a sticker. So I will open this image and now from here, for example, I want this object as a sticker. So I will use my S Pen and then I will press and hold it like this. And here you can see this new option of save as sticker. So I will select it and then for example, I open uh, my Samsung notes and then from here I will select this keyboard option. And then from here I select this emoji icon and then from here I select this sticker icon. So here you can see I have this sticker available here. So I will select it and this will be added to my notes. The next feature is about a new app. So with one UI six update, you will have this new studio app. So here you can edit your videos. So you can select your videos and then you can add text to these videos. You can also add music, you can add stickers and you can also change the aspect ratio of these videos as well. 
The next feature is about advanced flight mode. So if I bring down this quick panel and then I will turn on this flight mode and then I will turn on the Wi-Fi. Now I will turn off the flight mode and then I will turn it on again. So this time it will remember whether you had the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth turned on or not last time. The next feature is about modes and routines. So there is a new condition added to modes and routines. Open the settings, then select this modes and routines and then scroll down and here you can select this option of add mode. You can give it any name and then from here scroll down and you can select any action. For example, I select this grayscale and then I press done from here and then I will press done from here. Now here you can see this option of turn on automatically. So I will select this option and then I select this add condition. So once you scroll down here you will see a new option of media is being played. So I will select it and then from here for example I select this Spotify and then I press done and then from here I will press done again. Now I will turn on the media. So for example I will play this audiobook from Spotify and you will see my screen will become grayscale with this new condition. So here you can see the screen is now grayscale. Now if I pause this media, so I will pause this audiobook, it will go back to the normal tablet mode. So this is really amazing. You can also change the keyboard setting for each mode. So I will open the settings and then I select modes and routines and then from here I will select the same custom mode and then here you see this option of other actions. So you can select it and then scroll down and here you see this option of add action. So I will select it and then here if you scroll down you will see a new option of Samsung keyboard. You can select it and here you can change the setting for each mode. The next feature is about space game. So open the settings and at bottom you see this option of about tablet. So select this option and then from here you can select the software information. And then here you see the second option is about android version 14. So you just tap it few times like this. It will open this screen with this android 14 icon. Then you have to press and hold it like this and it will launch the space game. So you just have to wait for a few seconds. So here is the space game so you can play this game. The next feature is about auto blocker. So open the settings and then scroll down and here you see this option of security and privacy. So you can select this option and then from here you can scroll down and here you see this option of auto blocker. So you can select this option and you can turn it on from here so it will block the apps from unauthorized sources. It will turn on the app security checks. It will also block the commands by USB cable. So guys, this is for today's video. Please like this video and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.